Welcome to August September's newsletter. I've been a bit late in getting my monthly newsletter out, but that has has I suppose been the theme for August and September. In terms of time, it's trying to keep up with time, finding time. Has time been too fast or has time been too slow? It's been a very unusual time. And of course, in August, we were brought that rare opportunity of having two new moons, plus having five weekends instead of four weekends. And that's once in an 800 year event, apparently. So we've been really thrown a lot of different energies in the month of August. And I suppose one of the prevailing things that built up in this really unusual time um, were people's anxieties. So by the end of the month, we at that fifth weekend it was just all panic buttons going and people really really feeling anxieties but the cool thing or the really good thing on some aspects was that people were wanting to take control of their anxieties so not only were they recognizing their fears recognizing that way of being but they were acknowledging that this is something that they could control and no longer allow the anxiety to control them I think for myself, I've been aware of some old thinking patterns because my husband and I, we put into plan a particular business plan which came to fruition. It was a short-term plan and that came to its end in August. And for me, it was then thinking about, well, what would I do without the plan? The plan's finished. So I had to just then allow myself to relax into what would be a natural business rhythm for both my husband and I. So I wouldn't say that I got anxious per se, but I became aware of suddenly feeling um, unfettered or liberated by a structure, a structure that I had put into place. And as well, what do I do now that that structure is not there? I think that sometimes we do need structure and we do need a formula or a plan to work with. It gives us an aim, it gives us a goal, it gives us a focus and it gives us a destination at the end of that journey. I suppose for Michael and I, it's been a very, very interesting journey uh, since May. And we've really discovered a huge amount about each other, about our pure grit and tenacity, about how we make a great team, both on a business level and on a personal level, how we both were able to bolster each other up when one of us was feeling a little bit insecure about what it was we were doing. But also, it was really, really interesting to see how we could keep each other in check. So when one of us wanted to just run away from the plan, deviate from the plan, go off that road, the other person was able to rein, rein uh, one of us back into place and we were back on track again. So August time, for me, on a very personal level, was the end of what has been a very, very enlightening journey. A journey about what you can achieve when you put your mind to it, what you can achieve when you focus your attention and the energy that then comes with that. Here we are, we're up to the 18th of, of September and I've gone a little bit haywire. I haven't actually um, got my newsletter out. Now normally that would cause a great deal of anxiety in me because my deadline is usually the 5th of every month. That's my deadline. And yet I've come into September and September I seem to have got back time. So August there wasn't enough time, but September I seem to have got back time. Even to the respect of, um, I suppose, thinking it's, it's, let's say, 8 o'clock in the morning, but it's only 6 or 7 o'clock in the morning. So I feel I'm, I'm an hour or two hours ahead of myself. So it'll be interesting to see how that transpires for the rest of the month. This month is definitely about endings and beginnings. On the 7th of September, I signed over the lease 
of the old Spirit Truck building to um, the current owners. So that was a real end of an era for me. It was six years of my life building up the brand and the purpose and, and the function of Spirit Talk. Um, and this month, in particular, this last fortnight, has been about getting the Phoenix Light Foundation, the website, although it is out on the internet, I haven't publicised it yet because we've still got some tweaking to do, get the shop ready and get some bits and pieces organised. However, it is live and the Phoenix itself seems to be an energy that I'm finding really comfortable um, flying my banner under or working beneath that banner. And it is a real lovely uh, place to be in, in a new beginning, a new place. One of the big uh, journeys for me next year and really taking me out of my comfort zone on some level is that I'm putting out a mountain retreat. This is a two and a half day getaway if you'd like to join me. And uh, this particular mountain retreat is a new experience for me from being in a venue, self-managing the venue, having some volunteers there to help me process all of that. And we're going to be looking at meaningful mindfulness and manifesting meaningfully. So it's all about the M word. What does it mean to me? What matters to me? How can I manifest better? How can I bring better meaning into my life? Already there are some interest in this particular project and that's only by word of mouth. So uh, already I'm seeing that the Phoenix itself, this new banner that I'm working under, is going to flourish and blossom quite happily. So what has August and September been for you? Have you felt that August was a long drawn up month, month for us down here in the Southern Hemisphere? It is that hibernation, it's that deep winter months when the snow is on the hills and it's really frosty and cold. For those of you who are in the southern hemisphere, it's coming to the end of your summer. You're coming into your hibernation time. One of the absolute joys that we have down here is that we're coming into our springtime, so we're coming out of our cave. And this is our first full year in this amazing property here, just outside Christchurch. And the apple blossom and cherry blossom on the tree is just a sheer delight. I put some pictures on my Facebook page because it was so beautiful, so perfect. The blossoms were perfect, the trees were perfect, the colour was beautiful. And already the petals are blowing in the wind like confetti. It's just such a fleeting moment of beauty. I think maybe that's what September is all about. Capture those fleeting instances, those tiny parts of perfection and tune into that perfection. What does it instill in you? Is it a sense of exhilaration or excitement or joy or just feeling connected? I think for me the apple blossom and cherry blossom, it was joy. I got married in May and the apple and cherry blossom was in full bloom. And it's always a really happy time for me. Beautiful memories. And I think that's what this garden, um, now that we've come full circle and we're just about here a year, it's really beautiful to see that whole magical process about to start once again. Remember that as we're closing the door in one season and we're opening ourselves up to new energies, our physical bodies are changing. So we need to get regrounded into Mother Earth, make sure that we're feeling really settled for our hibernation time or we're ready to spring into action for our spring summer time. Of course, it's a busy time ahead. It's the last quarter of the year. Sorry to say that out loud, but of course Christmas is not that far away. And of course my classes will be coming up to a conclusion for this year. So I have only one set of uh, coursework uh, to run this year and that starts in October, the 16th of October. That's the Ascension, the Advanced Ascension course. So if you've been on the initial course, now's your time to rejoin us in the advanced course and take your wisdom, your learning into that deeper cellular level, looking at the specific organs in the body and how to give light energy and healing to that.
We have an exciting Ascended Masters evening and this month we're looking at Mary Magdalene, um, quite a misrepresented being in lots of historic documents, however she is being brought back into the fold in terms of um, the religious organisations. We're going to be looking at the cosmic hierarchy and accelerated um, energy in that particular evening, so that is on the 26th of uh, September. And we've got another Tree of Life. It's a new course for me, um, brought forward by a beautiful student, Rachel Ashton, who just had this idea about making mandalas in the shape of a Tree of Life. And I have to say, I ran the first course last weekend, and it was quite profound for those that attended. In fact, I had an amazing uh, few emails from people who had attended saying it was the most profound course that they've attended, and the most profound one that I've given. And it was really a leisurely, leisurely walk through the day. It wasn't jam-packed full with information. However, I think just the topic was so huge. And bringing in that intellect and bringing in that understanding, um, we just needed to take that leisurely stride through the day, through the garden, through the elemental world, through the plant world. So that is coming out in November if you want to come along and have some really deep healing sensations. Of course, in this newsletter, I've got information below. There's links to the What's On page of my website and all of my current workshops that are up and coming are listed in there. And below, I've actually put some of the posters for the three big events coming up. So we've got the Animal Therapy, Vibrational Therapy Workshop coming up. We've got the Tree of Life Workshop Mary Magdalene, and we've got Reiki 1 and Reiki 3 attunements. So the last part of this year is going to be full on and really looking forward to seeing my students um, elevating their, uh, I suppose, their spiritual wisdom and knowledge, but also looking forward to meeting new students coming on board as you join me in my classes. So have a think about September. Is time passing by or do you feel you're getting more time packing more things into your day? It's an interesting time, so to speak. Until the next time, remember and share this video with your friends and your family. And if you can, subscribe. The button is just underneath this and you'll get an email when my next video blog is released. It's lovely chatting to you. Thank you so much for your patience and sorry for the delay in getting this particular newsletter out, but it's, I'm going with the flow. It's all to do with timing. And we'll see you on our next slot in October. Bye for now. Namaste.